Hey folks, Brad LaDrew here, Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. It's been a long, cold winter, and this is my first video in a long time, and guess what? It's St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day. So, top of the morning to you. Good to be with you. And I want to talk or take a look at our very first 2021 AT4 Canyon AT4. And real quick, if you're not familiar with the GMC Canyons, uh, they're available in basically four trim levels. You have the Elevation Standard, and then you have the Elevation, the AT4 seen here, which we're going to feature today, and then obviously the top dog, the Denali. Now, real quick, um, when you go into the elevation, you have the black painted bumper like this one. You've got the chrome, the, the surround grille is no longer chrome, it's painted to match whatever the exterior of the vehicle is with the black 18 inch wheels. Now, when you go into the AT4 trim level, if you notice, you're getting the 31 inch Dura, uh, Goodyear Duratrack tires, I should say. Um, you get your Z71 off road suspension, and uh, it's available in cloth or leather in the AT4. Okay, and then obviously, when you go to the Denali, the top dog, you get the 20 inch alloys, heated and cooled leather, wireless charging, and standard Bose audio and spray liner. So, let's start off by popping the hood. A lot of you guys comment and like the uh, quick little overview of the engines and the choices uh, that are available, the trim levels. So real quick, if you want a two wheel drive, whether it's an extended cab or crew cab, you can get a 2.5 liter spark injected, direct injected, dual overhead cam, variable valve timing, four cylinder engine, that's uh, two wheel drive models only with 200 horsepower and 191 foot pounds of torque. Every other trim level is going to come standard with this bad boy, which is the 3.6 liter direct injected with dual overhead cam. You can read it right there, variable valve timing, 308 horsepower and 275 foot pounds of torque. And also in the AT4 trim or the Denali trim, you can get the 2.8 liter Duramax diesel, which is 181 horsepower and a crazy 369 foot pounds of torque at 2000 RPMs. So just crazy numbers if you go with that Duramax diesel. So when we talk about the AT4, first off, I guess when you look at all trim levels of, oh, we're, it's getting dusty, I apologize for the wind noise here. When you look at the AT4, what we have now is there's no, or sorry, in the, when we look at all the canyons, there's no more chrome bumpers in any trim level. They're all either black painted down low like this, okay, with the body matched upper, or if you're looking at the Denali, they'll be all painted to match, okay? But uh, even that elevation, like I was mentioning before, it's got the black bumpers like this, so no more chrome. And even on the AT4, if you notice, uh, this is like a, uh, a brushed um, al aluminum, so it's not the chromey look. So it looks really nice. You've got um, LED, uh, LED uh, fog lights are available on all on the very entry trim levels and then standard on the AT4 and Denali. There's this Duratrack tire, which is really nice. Now, because it's an AT4, I don't want you to get confused. This Canyon doesn't have a lift and all that sort of stuff. This is the ground clearance and everything that this truck comes standard with. It's just obviously you've got a bit of a bigger tire than all the other trim levels. Okay, overall taking up more of your arch here. Um, if you look, the sun is gonna help us out a little bit here. You've got these felt liners, which helps with the pinging and panging on gravel roads so you don't get the, the noise inside your cabin. Cabin. Here we've got the new Duralife rotors, which came out a few years ago, so it helps prevent rust as time goes by. And this truck is brand new. There's no miles on it. You can see there's no rust on it, even though it's been sitting around in the rail yards trying to get here to Canada. Another thing GM does, if you notice, it's got this texturized rock coating all the way along the body. You got this plastic grommet right here to protect this leading edge. And then this goes all the way over here, this liner, because GM knows you're gonna get rock chips down low. So that's why they put that there to help save the body. And even here, you can see we've got this like a 3M product here so that these wheel arches don't get chipped up as time goes by. Okay, pretty neat stuff. Moving on to the back, everybody loves the rear corner step. So one foot in there, your other hand right here, and now you're in the box of the truck, okay? Uh, I'm gonna get down low in my dress pants, in my green shirt, because it's St. Paddy's Day. 
but we also have a G80 auto locking rear differential in these vehicles as well. And even in that two wheel drive base model, you can get it with a G80 auto locking rear differential, okay? You can see you've got your four pin and seven pin wiring here as well. Easy drop tailgate. And the AT4, you can get the factory spray and liner as you can see here. Um, the, like I said, the Denali trim, it's a standard option, not something you're paying extra for. So you can see here, we've got some tie down hooks. They're all rated for 500 pounds. And then you can see these little plastic caps all the way around, all up the front. So those are for your gear on accessories. So you can have like kayak holders, um, skis, canoes, uh, pedal bikes, mountain bikes, all that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool. Moving on around. Capless fuel door, and again, if this was the Duramax diesel, you would have the Def Tank Blue Add Blue right here. Okay. And if you notice, the Elevation and the AT4, these are all black, whereas the Denali, this would be painted to match whatever the exterior body color is. Obviously, this one's a standard Summit White, beautiful color. And because this is the AT4 with the optional leather, this is the Jet Black Kalahari Custom Leather. So again, this leather is only available in an AT4. And keeping the theme like the half-ton trucks, I'll try to show you here. Okay. So you can see here, this is a actually different texture and softness compared to your standard leather down here, your jet black. So you can see that pattern design and the stitching. It looks really sharp. Uh, lots of room. You can see you've got your sliding rear window. Focus, baby. Sliding rear window in the back. And it is manual. But... Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, you've got a little handle down low here. You can pull on that and you'll see the seats fold up and you've got storage in under the seats here as well. Drop her back down. A couple USB ports, an old power auxiliary back here as well. And I mean, enough room for a six foot guy back here as well, like myself, six foot, 260 pounds. And even with that front seat lean back the way it is, I still have a couple fingers in the room. And you can see a quick overview inside. Let's pop back out. Also a new thing they did with these trim levels is this Bose Premium Audio, as I previously mentioned, is standard on the Canyon Denali, but now is available on both the Elevation and the AT4. So first when we look here, you see my hands here, we got some nice soft touch materials different textures so your plastic texture some leather you got this really nice again uh, different colored plastic materials again one's shiny one's glossy it really looks nice chrome door handle obviously you got all your power door locks mirrors power windows all right here as well now the AT4 and you can see here it's got your six-way power adjustable seat with power lumbar support and it would have that in the cloth trim level as well moving inside here you can see we've got the trailer brake controller right here we've got automatic headlights and then you've got your two-speed transfer case and again when you go into the 4x4 models they're all the same they all have g80 standard and they also have your um, two high auto 4x4 four high, four low, and yes, there's a neutral function. And I've had somebody ask me in a previous video, so this is actually the first time I'm saying this in a video, that neutral function makes this canyon, or any of our canyons, I should say, any of our canyons, flat towable behind a motorhome. Okay, so there you go. I'm doing good for time, nine minutes. So first off, just real quick overview. So you can see we've got our forward collision alert. We've got our heated steering wheel, and we've got talk hang up button here. And this little jog dial controls what you see up here in front of you. So you can go to the left or to right, and you can go in and, and I haven't been in here. You can set your info pages. What do you want to see? Speed, trip one or two, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, fuel economy, average speed, timer, battery voltage, voltage oil pressure, engine hours, trailer braking, everything's here. And then you can move on over and then you can scroll through them as you go up. 
Okay, so pretty slick stuff. Uh, here's your center stack. And you know what? I'll try to do this quick here. Um, everybody loves the GM infotainment system. And again, this is a carryover from the previous generation. So again, nothing really new here other than it's high definition now, okay? So it's a better quality or HD quality. Um, so again, you can just see how quick and intuitive this is. This, because it is the AT4 with leather, it's got the optional navigation, audio, satellite radio, AM. You got a home button, sorry, here, or a home button there. You can push either and they'll take you to this screen. You hit it a second time, it'll go to that screen. Right, they just switch between the two. Navigation is right there. Hit the home button, slide across. Your digital climate control, if you don't wanna use the dials down here, okay? Hit the home button again. My GMC is in here. You've got all the different apps you can download and install as well. Waze maps, uh, audio books, glimpse, um, that sort of stuff. And then you also have your owner center so you can schedule your service you can add plans roadside assistance all that sort of stuff is there hit home your owner's manual is there uh, obviously you've got onstar so again some of the things that are awesome about onstar you can see you've got the 4g lte wi-fi in the vehicle and we've had that since 2014 in almost every single vehicle um, you've got so basically onstar is three things right so you've got your Wi-Fi in the vehicle, you've got your plan. So heaven forbid the emergency services plan. So heaven forbid you get in an accident. If your airbags go off, the, v the OnStar agent will call the vehicle. And if you don't respond, they call um, emergency services because obviously you've been in a collision and there could be a major in injury. Um, also, you can just push this same, whoops, you can see my beautiful hair and see if that'll focus here. You can also push this blue OnStar button if you have a question or a check engine light, or you can push the SOS function here if you are in an emergency situation. And they, when you push the SOS, you're actually on the phone with a trained EMT, so not just an operator, which is pretty awesome. And the fourth and final thing is you can start your vehicle, set trip destinations, all that sort of stuff through the app on your phone, okay? So three different things OnStar is nowadays. Um, you got your camera here. Like I said, great resolution, trailer line, hit the home button, pretty straightforward stuff. Moving on down, you can see you've got your climate control here. So again, you can just use this manually, set it where you like it. You can see down low here, you've also got your traction control button, your lane departure warning. Okay, so this truck will not steer you in your lane. It will just notify you when you're going out of your lane. That's that rear park assist sensor, which is the beep, 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 beep as you get closer to stuff obviously your emergency hazards your when you're trailering this will lock out the in all your v6 in the all the v6 engines this will lock out the last two uh gears so instead of running in eight speeds it'll be running in six speed okay uh you've got your hill descent control and you've also got your box light right there and you can see your heated seats you've got back and bum and three levels of heat or just your back and again, three levels of heat is that. Uh, looking down low, you've got a couple more USBs, old style auxiliary, your SD card navigation. And again, going with the AT4 specific stuff, you can see like the seats, you've got this really nice texturized um, pattern that's on the uh, all the trim levels here. Trim levels also, it's hard to see on the doors. Uh, just, just a nice little, uh, addition or touch with the vehicles you can see you've got a wireless charging as well got a nice big center console lots of room in there and I'm just gonna pop right out real quick back up and if you notice this truck here well she's not focusing here we go let's focus Check out the old top kick in the back there, ground there. Um, another really cool thing is box lens. So um, I had a couple questions about this and yes, there are three box lengths available in this truck. So when you go to the extended cab, it's gonna be 74 inches of box length, okay? In, this, in the extended cab. And then like this one, we call this a short crew and the short crew is 62 inches of box length and it was the long box, okay? Then you're looking at 74 inches of box length. Okay, so depending on if you're putting dirt bikes or things like that in there, you might want to go with a different box length, a crew cab, uh, long box, or an extended cab 
long pumps. But there you go, folks. That was a quick, fast rundown of the canyon and our first ever AT4 here at Western. And you want to know something? I can't exaggerate this. We got this truck offloaded last night. I was going to do a video. And this morning I came into work. And of course I just dropped the piece of paper. And my salesman Ashley says, I got that one sold, boss. So there you go. Have a great day, folks. It's another one-take shoot here from Brad at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Have a great day.